Hello, this is Nemesis, and welcome to a game I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Because I told myself in the very beginning I wasn't going to LP this game. Obviously, I lied to myself, because here it is. Now, there, there's a few things I'm going to put out there right now. And the first is that... In all intents and purposes, I'm kind of jacking the Great Clements style. Because he post-commentates pretty much everything he does. And, well, this is post-commentated. Mostly because I'm tired of having my audio and my video way out of sync. So, in all intents and purposes, this just works. X is the first of a new generation of robots, which contain an innovative new feature. The ability to think, feel, and make their own decisions. However, this ability could be very dangerous. If X were to break the first rule of robotics, a robot must never harm a human being. The result would be disastrous, and I fear that no force on Earth could stop him. Approximately 30 years will be required before he can safely confirm his reliability. Unfortunately, I will not live to see that day, nor do I have anyone to carry on my work. Therefore, I have decided to seal him in this capsule, which will test his internal systems until his reliability has been confirmed. Please, do not disturb the capsule until that time. X possesses great risks, as well as great possibilities. I can only hope for the future. September 18th, 2000 XX. Thomas Light. Yep, I'm doing Mega Man X. The original. Because it's just badass. That, and I have a tendency of destroying this game. Let's kick some A's. Now, the intro stage here is pretty straightforward. Then again, it's an intro stage, and you shouldn't have much problem with it. I mean, these guys, they... They can take some hits, these things, well, they just destroy the stage as you go, which is annoying as all hell. But they're nothing, they're, they're weak as hell. And they tend to drop a lot of health power up, so the chances of you dying are kind of slim unless you just decide to fuck around and, you know, you know, just let them kill you. I mean, each one of these I've killed so far, besides the big blue boat boys, when I don't know why you only shot one, has been dropping health. I mean, that guy dropped a hell life. I mean, I'm gonna need a couple of those later on for a little something something that I plan to get. Because I do get everything in this game. This is a 100% completion run. No buts. Hop down here, you find some health, you know. The good things. Which is pretty good, because in the X series, they always start you off with the power of a pussy. And don't take that the wrong way, or in a dirty way, because that's not what I was going for. But you start off weak as fuck, with like half the HP of all the bosses. So. It turns into a kind of test of skill, I would call it. That's me. Now these little mosquito things, I don't know what the hell they call them, just fly towards you and drop bombs. They're annoying as hell. But easy enough to take care of. And these things. Oh my god. I have a d pure just hatred for those things. Ah, uh, and the car enemies. The only stage in which you fight these things, which, eh makes sense because you're on a highway. But... that's enough about that. These guys go down fairly easy. Just like everything else that only appears in the stage, they drop health galore. And you might want to remember that ship, because later on we're gonna see a lot of that. By a lot, I mean not that much. The number of baddies this thing drops is between 
two and four. It's, it's always random for some reason. I don't know why. But once you beat all of them, you have to fight Vile in his right armor. And the thing about his right armor is that you cannot beat it. This is honestly a fight you are meant to lose. Hands down, no matter what you do, you will lose this fight. And he just zaps you, picks you up, and makes you his bitch. You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you really think you could defeat me? You know, for a second there, yeah, I kinda did. I am Zero, hear me roar. Pew, pew, pew! I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. QQ. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become as <laughs> stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am, while well, conceded much. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get in there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. Yeah, that's another thing. I pull a Clement in there, and, you know, I'm... You know, I'm going to attempt to do voices. I mean, I'm not Clement. He does a pretty damn good job. And that's why I'm, quote-unquote, Jack in his style. Because, well... It's the internet. People do that. And I just started inside the start with Flame Mammoth. Honestly, one of the weakest of the Mavericks. Although he can be a pain in the ass since, you know, I don't have the ability to dash yet. And, you know, that, that can present some problems. Fortunately, I didn't die. In fact, I don't remember if he actually hurt me. So... You know, there's that. Of course, that's lava. Stay out of it, because lava hurts. And, unfortunately, well, luckily, not unfortunately, <laughs> you can't, you won't die if you touch it. You'll take massive amounts of damage. Same with those lava pillars, you know. You'll take damage, but it won't kill you instantly. Now, there, that area I skipped earlier was where you get the arm parts. I'll be coming back for those later. Because you need the dash and the helmet parts to get them. So, you know. And you can't get that heart tank until you beat Chill Penguin. So, you know, skip it for now if you start with Flame Out. Like I did. Now, I'm not going in any particular order. Save the order in which you get armor parts. In fact, throughout this entire LP, I use nothing but the X-Buster on the bosses. Until I get to Sigma's Fortress, because, well, I have my limits. And, well, I would have ended up using Hadoken on everything, so, uh, yeah. Watch out for these things, you can't damage them, at least not to the best of my knowledge. And, Sniper Joe guy, ripoff, well... He's a rip-off of a Sniper Joe, you know what to do, just jump over and shoot him. Of course, little green spinny dude, have no idea what they're called. They're a pain in the ass, and luckily they only seem to appear on this level. Then again, I've never really noticed if there aren't any others. Though they very well might be. And now we're getting to Flame Mammoth. Now, Flame Mammoth, he's kind of the opposite. Usually it's the ice enemy that's a big fat ass. Or at least, that's how they're portrayed in the newer games. But, contrary to that, Flame Mammoth is huge. And his stomp does damage. When he jumps down, he'll shake the screen and 
you know, knock you over. And if he's coming towards you, well, chances are, if you're unlucky, you'll get hit. But if he gets right up to you, and the conveyor belt's coming towards you, and you're in the corner, just jump in the upper corner, and you'll be fine. You can jump. After he jumps, you can just jump right over him. Occasionally, he'll spit this oil, which he can light on fire with his flamethrower, but eh, it doesn't happen very often, so don't worry about it. But, you know, if he does light it on fire and it hits you, it, it can hurt. In fact, huh, I guess it did take damage from him. And then, boom. By the way, his weakness is the Storm Tornado. Figured I'd, you know, put that out there. Because <laughs> I forgot to. Yeah, yeah! Don't ask me what that was, I have no idea. Fire Wave, yeah, it's a flamethrower. And it's actually pretty useful. I mean, I tend to use it a lot. And it makes getting a certain heart tank very easy. Now I had the Chill Penguin. Chill Penguin being an ice enemy, you can imagine his weakness is the flamethrower. But I don't use it. Um, Chill Penguins is one of my favorite themes. And I hate these lumberjacks with a passion. They hit you with their log, and then they'll laugh at you. That's not cool. That's, like, that's the game being a dick. Almost like game over music for Mega Man 3. Because I think Brunel Floss put that one best. Because, well, he's Brunel Floss. He's awesome. Now, the Batons, or Batons, Bubble Bats, whatever you want to call them, they're a pain in the ass. They've always been a pain in the ass. They'll continue to be a pain in the ass. Not as much as these roly-poly bastards. Wheels with spikes. And they appear to be in every X game that I've played. And I just hate them. Luckily enough, they change them up with the game, so, you know. There's that. Charge Buster shots deal damage to him, like heavy damage, so don't worry about it. So, you've come. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world will allow you to choose a peaceful one. But, now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. Yeah, first light capsule, and, well, it's pretty much mandatory. Because you can't skip it unless you use a certain password and then wait for the little demo to go through. But, you know, the dash is really useful for clearing pits, doing a lot of things, really. And in the first... <laughs> Three games, if you do a dash shot, you actually deal double damage with the standard buster. Which makes it pretty useful. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for charge shots, so, you know... That kind of makes it limited. But up here, use the fire wave and destroy that igloo, and you get a heart tank. Very useful. Oh god, are they useful. So, just... Dash this area, watch out for snowballs, because, well, they're snowballs. They're like boulders. And then you'll eventually reach Chill Penguin. Like I said earlier, his weakness is the fire wave, but I choose not to use it because it just makes this fight too easy. Now, Chill Penguin's strategy is to slide at you, and occasionally, he'll shoot ice at you. 
And on other occasions, he'll just make ice sculptures of penguins. And it's, you know, he can freeze you with the spray, but you won't get hit by it unless you're, like, right in his face. So, don't worry about that. And he, he can be an ass. Like, yeah, look, right there he froze me and hit me with his frozen penguin. Which does some damage, but it, it's not lethal. But, these ice blocks that he shoots, they can block your buster shots. Same when he's go about to go into a slide. And from time to time, he'll jump up there and make, you know, it snow. Make, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And then, boom. Chill Penguin's dead. Because he's a penguin. <laughs> Ah, good times. Bitches. Yeah, by the way, I'm gonna say something different each time that happens. Or at least I'm going to attempt to. And you get shotgun ice. If you played X... Not X7, uh... If you played Classic 7, that's pretty much what it is. 